Hello. Again, this is something. Uh, make a quick little video of since I already have it sewn together here. It's a simple, and quick and easy little TDO or time domain reflectometry circuit that you can throw together for testing coaxial cables or any cable in general stuff. And of course you need an oscilloscope to see the results, but basics of the circuit is just a quartz TTL oscillator and a 7474 dual D flip-flop. And I'm using an external trigger source, which is just a frequency generator, but you can, if you want it standalone, you can take and put a 555 timer on there for the low frequency trigger circuit. Theory of the operation of the circuit is you have two D flip-flops and when the trigger circuit comes in it sets the first D flip-flop which brings the input of the second D flip-flop high which the second D flip-flop has the clock input coming from the TTL oscillator when it goes high the second one is brought high by the rising edge of the TTL clock which when it goes sets it feeds back and resets the first D flip-flop which when it next TTL clock period starts then the second D flip-flop resets which produces an output with an output pulse with a period of one clock cycle and I have that fed into a little transistor for a buffer amplifier and the 51 or 52 ohm terminating load which is the start of the test cable and then I'll show you the results on the oscilloscope here This is the output of the unit directly driving a 50 ohm termination, termination resistor. The output period of the pulse is approximately 40 some nanoseconds. And now let's hook the unit up to an antenna. A working antenna lead. And see what it looks like. You will see the, in this particular case, you see a little bit of a bump right after a pulse, which is caused by a little bit of a shift in the impedance of the cable. The two cables are joined, it is demarcated by that point and then pretty much uh, an interrupted cable length in the antenna return and then of course it goes along in a little secondary reflection but because the fact that the termination on this side isn't perfect so a part you want to pay attention to is from here to here I can increase the sweep speed and you can see the changes a little more clearly and that is in a good antenna circuit now we'll go to a slightly more complicated antenna circuit let's see here now here is something a little more interesting you have the drive pulse then you have a negative return. The reason that is is because I have a 75 ohm coax cable this driving a 50 ohm cable then it pretty much runs uninterrupted until 
you reach a little bump, which that bump is there because there is some twisted line uh, speaker wire in the feed line, and then you get the antenna return, and then the secondary reflections after that and stuff. Now we go to the antenna that I put the circuit together for in the first place. Do do do. Here is the problem antenna. You see the reference pulse. Then you see a little irregularity there, which is a connector failure or some other uh, point of damage on a cable that's showing up. And then you get a very attenuated antenna return which for the size of this antenna, it should almost produce a full antenna return, so I know with the size of that in the cable return that there's a lot of attenuation going on in the cable besides the fact that there's a connector that's not quite right, so I'm gonna basically suspect that the entire cable needs to be replaced I can find that connector that might be causing a problem and repair it, but I don't think it's going to help the in, in the cable return because there ain't much, that much of a irregularity at that point to attenuate the antenna return that much. So, that is basic, simple TDR circuit and things to look for when using it to test the cable stuff so take care take it easy